Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a plaque in your office with a quote on it that's attributed to your grandfather. Tell us about that. Well, actually, my grandfather's favorite saying was, I mean, there were lots of opportunities in that environment to, as you could imagine, to want to say that you couldn't do certain things. And my grandfather, who was raised in part by his grandmother, who was a freed slave, and raised by his uh, an uncle, and his mother died when he was a little, a young boy, so he was raised by his grandmother and his uncle later on. Well, when you would say to him you couldn't do something, he his response was always the same: "Old man can't is dead. I helped." bury him. Old man can't is dead, I help bury him. Yeah, yeah, and his, that was his view. He would say that to you when he got you up at four in the morning to go on the farm, uh, and, uh, and you said, I can't do this or do that. Old man can't is dead. That is, I wish I knew your grandfather. Well, <laughs> yeah. I wish a lot of people knew him, and I wish he was still here so I could thank him. The um, fact that you raised a son mm -hmm. and a nephew, what did you learn from that? You know, I think you're raising kids. It is a humbling process. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it gets increasingly humbling as they get older. And the, I think any, any parent who's raised kids will understand, will tell you it's humbling. Are you shocked after all these years, after the 60s, you were in college? When did you graduate? 70, 71. Well, 71. Mm -hmm. Those are tumultuous times mm -hmm. at Yale, um, at Yale, at Yale, mm -hmm. Yale Law School. Uh, are you surprised at how things are still so rancorous uh, in the United States today about foundational issues? Yeah. Not, not about the hot, but just foundational yeah. issues, the anthem and so forth. No, I'm not surprised. <laughs> I mean, what, what binds us? What do we all have in common anymore? And the, I think we have to think about that. I think this is uh, when I was a kid, even as we had laws that held us apart, there were things that we held dear and that we all had in common. And I think we have to, we always talk about the pluribus unum. What's our unum now? We have the pluribus, what's the unum? And I think it's a great country. Uh, I think we, for whatever reasons, have made it our, dis some people have decided that the Constitution isn't worth defending, that the history isn't worth defending that the culture and the principles aren't worth defending, then, you know, certainly if you're in my position, they have to be worth defending. It's, that's what keeps you going. That's what energizes you. That's what makes it the endeavor, all of the criticism, the, the other things. That's what makes it all acceptable because what you're doing is so important and so critical to the things that matter. So I don't know what it is that we have, we can say instinctively, we have as a country in common. It's great to see you. Thank you for making some time for us today. And thank you and thank you.